Give the Lord a loud shout. Celebrate the Lord. Celebrate the Lord. Celebrate the Lord. Celebrate the Lord. Let me ask you again. Do you see your overflow? Do you see your overflow? I am not sure you heard me. After the days of fasting, do you see your overflow? If you can see it, raise your voice. Give the Lord a loud shout. Lift up your right hand wherever you are and turn to say right now. Can you turn to right now? Right now. Call your name and say Jerry. Say break out on every side. Say Jerry. Right now. 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 Break out. Break out. Break out. Break out. On every side. On every side. On every side. Say today. Walls of limitation, walls of setback, walls of confinement. Right now, fire, 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 fire. Open your mouth, obey a culture, a mission, a Taliban, record, a Libya, a Saka, a Talia, record, a Resor, a Tata, record, a Libya. A shaka, a tad, recopa, a shate, in the acaba, a sata, a labiada, a sande, a shabad, a cotta, laca, a rasa, lacato, a rapa, a sande, let your amen turn the louder. Let your amen rise, sire. Let your amen rise, sire. We announce, let every wall of limitation, let it be broken. Let every wall of setback, let it be broken. If your amen will rise, sire, I announce, it is your overflow season. Your cup runs over. Your cup runs over. Your cup runs over. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Let your amen turn louder. Somebody turn that more than enough, more than enough, more than enough, more than enough, more than enough. Call your name as a Jerry. Don't say at the Lord, don't say at the Lord. Enter your more than enough. 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 Right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, open your mouth, a shot, a man, a tala, a rakana, a shot, a beto, a shabad, a kota, a lebiada, a tola, rakabe, rakota, rabia, a shabi, a kota, a lebi, a sada, a tad, a raka, a saba, a tad, a lebi. Let your believer turn the louder, amen. Let your amen rise, sire. Let your amen rise, sire. Somebody turn them more than enough. I did not hear you turn the rita more than enough. Scream it better more than enough. Let God Somebody prophesy louder more than enough. More than enough. More than enough. Let your amen rise, sire. 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 A cobala. If you are under the sound of my voice and you are saying pastor i am in a tight place i am in a narrow place i want to break out i want to break out i don't like where i am i want to break out i am in a place i consider too small i want to break out i have a grown where i am i want to break out i want to enter my new i want to break out run out to the altar run out to the altar Shaka, Sabir, Atala, Arakana, he said, he said, it is an overflow. He said, he must be breaking out into your more. Ashaka, Ataba, Elabia, Atola, Rakabe, he said, Rakato, Ashate, Elabia, Akote, Rabia, Asoba, Ata, Elabia, Rakabana, Rakato, Rabia. Let your amen turn the louder. 
Let your amen rise higher. 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 As your two hands are lifted, I don't know what the Lord is saying. Release the mantle of the fester. 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 What has not been done for anybody? What has not happened before? He capala. Are the sound of your amen? Take your mantle of the fester. Take your mantle of the fester. Take your mantle of the fester. It is resting on you. Right now. 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 Let your amen turn. Let your amen turn. Let your amen rise. I don't know who has this one. Whatsoever that happened nine years ago that the devil was to use against your life right now. At the sound of your amen, let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Let your amen turn. Let your amen rise. Call your name and say, Jerry, we the love of stone break out. Call your name and say, Jerry, we the love of stone break out. Say, right now, I break out of every narrow place. I break out of every limitation. I break out of every smallness. I break out on every delay. I break out of every denial. I break out. I break out. I break out, 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 open your mouth, rack up, he shot, and let the court on, rack at you, a shot, a bala, a sucker, a letter, a sabbat, a court on, a lavia, open your mouth, somebody break out, somebody break out, somebody break out, rack up. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. A Santa, a Peter, a record, a Satya, a Shaba, a Tata, Rakabia, record on a Sabia, a Tar, a Bara, a Beko, a Sati, a Labia, a Saka, Rakata, Rabiada, a Satya, record on Rabia. When you become restless, when you become restless, you will break the yoke of your neck. Rasade, Amesada, Abeada, let your amen turn the louder. Let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. I announce break out. Break out of every limitation. Break out of every cycle. Break out of every heavy load. I see it happening right now. 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 Let your amen rise. Let your emeras, 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 let your emeras. Shaba da koda, elamene be be sukada, lakana bana baba sha. The Lord said again, I should speak against every repeated disappointment, repeated disappointment, repeated disappointment. Anybody here laboring under the siege of repeated disappointment, if your amen will rise like a warrior, I announce he is terminated right now. Let every time in let every time in the let every time in the let every time in the I call a basa, I hear it, sleeping rib disease, sleeping rib disease, by the power that rest Jesus from the dead, I announce, let every reverse, let every reverse, let every reverse, right now, 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 let your amen turn. Let your image on. Let your image on. Let your image rush. Let your image rush. Anybody under the sound of my voice with any deaf child, ah, the sound of your image. Let the ears of that child open right now. Let it open right now. Let it open right now. Let it open. Let it open. Let it open. Let it open. Let your image on. Yesterday they told you your baby was dead. Ah, Shabbat. Hear me as I hear the Lord. 
as you return today hear me that baby is alive that baby is alive that baby is alive receive it of the lord receive it of the lord everybody put your two hands on your head i can't tell strange ideas the creator pathway for overflow strange instructions that unlock the overflow strange revelations that bear the overflow on the sound of your inner iron house let it rest on you let it rest on you 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 right now 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 let your image on now let your image on now I don't know who you are i will call it a mobile paralysis sometimes it is in your leg and you will not feel anything on that leg sometimes it goes to your hand sometimes it goes to your head i call up paralysis at different points and different parts of your body some days it will last two days three days and move over to another part i call about the spirit of god said it's a witchcraft attack at the sound of your amen i announce let it be reversed let it be reverse. Let it be reverse. Your surgery site is still producing pus after such a long time. They say come back again. Hey, Colada. Above by the power that resists from the dead. I announce. Let it be reverse. Let it be reverse. Right now. Right now. Right now. Anybody with any growth in any part of your body. I see amen. Of course, people will turn now. I command. Let let it disappear let it disappear let it disappear you are in your overflow season the lord has given you a new neighbor your laughter has come your evidence has come your joy has come the lord has made a way a pathway for your joy a pathway for your new season a pathway for your laughter let your image on let your image on let your image on kobala can i ask you if you really know it's your overflow Overflow season. Let me ask you, how, how will you celebrate? How will you rejoice? How will you shout? Raise your voice. Give the Lord a loud shout. As you return to your seat, can you keep declaring it? I am in my overflow season. I am in my overflow season. I am in my overflow season. Keep declaring it. Keep declaring it. I am in my overflow season. Upper quarter there. A seven day. I am in my overflow season. Rakabadia, sir. A tabadea. A paladia. My cup run it over. My cup run it over. I didn't say you should murmur it you are supposed to declare it keep talking it and call abasha and my cup run it over i am in my overflow season and call more than you prayed for i am in my overflow season and more than you thought about i am in my overflow season i call you will not go looking for it it will come looking for you you are in your overflow season my two immutable things it is impossible for God to lie you are in your overflow season who saw this house in its former glory the glory of the later house shall be greater than that of the former you are in your overflow season let a believer turn a louder amen glory to God you are in your overflow season wherever you are would you help me open your scriptures immediately open your scriptures immediately to the book of psalms chapter 23 we read the book of psalms chapter 23 psalms chapter 23 and we we'll read from verse 1 psalms chapter 23 hallelujah can i hear you thunder again say i am in my overflow season see your neighbor is not in their overflow season that's why they are talking the way they are talking i may look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor say neighbor uh, that was a wrong neighbor help me leave that neighbor get in the face of another one please meet another neighbor and tell that neighbor say neighbor say what season are you in 
What's your neighbor saying to you? Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, do you know what time it is? What's your neighbor saying to you? And now look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, neighbor, even if you don't see it, I see it in your life. Your cup is already running over. Tell your neighbor, I see it already. It's running over with opportunities. It's running over with access. It's running over with blessings. It's running over with joy. It's running over with celebrations. It's running over with congratulations. It's running over with good news. It's running over with a turnaround. If it sounds like you, let your amen intimidate the kingdom of hell. We read the book of Psalms chapter 23 and we'll start reading from verse 1 to verse 6. I'm sure some of you will literally close your eyes and read Psalms 23. But please open your eyes today so that we can read it together. Hallelujah. Psalms chapter 23. The Spirit of God said to me, your first daughter will not die. I don't know who this is. Between Wednesday and Friday, any attack on your first daughter will come back as a testimony. I wish your amen will thunder loud. I wish your amen will thunder loud. I don't know who you are. You are the there are things going on around you. The Lord said to me in Aboroshia, it looks like something you want to get involved in a business, but the Lord said you are getting involved with the wrong people. All they want to do is to steal from you. Hear me, Karo Shadaba. Before Tuesday is over, may your eyes be open to see it. Let your amen thunder louder. Somebody, Amarosha, everybody say this after me. Say suddenly. I need you to say like a minute. Say suddenly say the lord planted my feet in nations of the world say it again say suddenly the lord planted my feet in nations of the world say i move for profit i move for advancement say i move for visibility say i move for expressions if that sounds like you can your amen turn the louder can your amen turn the louder i say it again what has not been done for others will be done for you let your amen rise higher. We read Psalms 23 from verse 1 all the way to verse 6. Glory to God. So people of God, like a mass choir, we're going to read together. One to go. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies thou anointest my head with oil my cup runneth over surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Our Father, we ask in the next few minutes that you make your word and your will known unto us. Lord, let it not be about any man but all of you. Our cup must run over. Abba, it is a promise and not just what we read in the scripture. Father, we decree and declare that the oil that activates the overflow, that the grace that makes the overflow happen, and as the amen of your people will thunder, let it become their biggest evidence. Can your amen silence the gates of hell? Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor you are in your overflow season. Please help me take your seat in the presence of the Lord. People of God, it behoves on God and on us today to come into agreement and alignment with what heaven means. When God thinks about you and when God speaks about overflow, there are a few things, a few dynamics I'm going to share with five thoughts I'm going to bring to us from the scripture that we just read right now. Never, ever, ever think that God gives you according to your capacity. 
never ever imagine that God gives according to a man's capacity. Always remember this. God gives you according to his capability. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. So why it is overflow for you, it is supposed to be supernaturally natural. Now you are the one saying, this is an overflow. This is an overflow. And God is saying, no, I'm giving you by who I am. So when it comes down to you, it is an overflow. Let me say this. Some of you will literally squeeze a slice of bread into your mouth. Am I communicating? When you give it to your three-month-old, when you give it to your one-month-old, it is full. They cannot handle it. You need to start breaking it into pieces for them. So this is the way God operates. So God gives you who he is. Then when you come to receive it, it now looks big. But let me tell you the lie of the enemy. The devil keeps making you believe that what he gave you was a piece and not the full. So we have brethren in Christ who have the inheritance and the promise in Christ always expecting pieces from God. When God was given you, he knew a generation was attached to you. When God was reaching out to you, he knew that you were not there for yourself. And there are services like this when you come for. When God opens your eyes to the overflow, you realize that there is no reason any member of my family should go down. Because while I am here, I received for them, even if they were not aligned. Am I communicating? If your amen were thunder, keys that unlock the overflow, at the sound of your amen, let it be unlocked over your life. So, sir, while you take your seat in the presence of God, the psalmist begins to let us know. And he says, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. Boom! This is where we are. I got to overflow. My cup runneth over. Sir, let me say this first thing. Please pack it in one corner of your mind. Stop telling us that your cup is running over. Change the cup. Did you hear what I just said? There are people who are priding in the fact that their cup is running over. And God is saying, I am giving you based on who I think you are. That is why you need to change your cup. So the cup you currently have is too small for what I want to do. So sir, listen, never discard a new business idea that is hitting your mind this year. People of God, because all God is saying is that, you see that place you're doing well, I want to stretch you. Did you hear what I just said? Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, this is for you. Tell your neighbor like you mean it, say, change your cup. Say it again to your neighbor like you mean it, say, change your cup. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I know you are doing well. But God wants you to change your cup. Now, can you call your name and say, Jerry? Can you turn and say, change your cup? If you believe it, can you turn that louder? Amen. Let your amen rise higher. Let your amen rise higher. So, sir, dear Oman de Bokosha, the realization of your identity in the overflow comes with a demand on your life. Change your cup. Your understanding of the fullness of God comes with a responsibility. And that responsibility is saying, change your cup. People of God, do you know that someone who shows up with a teacup and it is overflowing, he's also saying, I am in my overflow. Someone who shows up with a jug and it is overflowing, he's also shouting, I am in my overflow. Somebody who shows up with a GP tank and it is overflowing, he's also saying, I am in my overflow. But people of God, which one are you presenting? There are some of you with the destinies of giants. But you have presented a teacup before the Lord. Touch your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, change your cup. 
Help me place your hand on your chest. Can you speak in tongues for 30 seconds? Speak in the Holy Ghost for 30 seconds. Randi Baku Shabadia. Leketebede Borosh Shabada. Ikatu Baladia. Reketebeda Bala. Ashabadi Katola. Rakatu Balasia. Ete Katola. Rabia Deba. Ashabia. Ekoti. Elebe. Eshabada. Akoti. Alabada. Let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat. So please don't forget. Change your cup. Something big is happening. Expand your mind. Something is about to hit you which you didn't plan for. Extend the borders of your tent. Don't walk into that meeting and say, I can't. You can because it is your overflow season. Don't shy away from something you say you are not used to because God might use what you say you are not used to to distinguish you in this season. Don't say I don't have that gift for everything that pertains to life and godliness has already been put in your inner man. If you understand it, turn that a louder. Amen. And the psalmist said something very amazing. It says, thou preparest a table. Look at your neighbor. Say, he prepared a table. That was the wrong neighbor. Leave that neighbor. Get in the face of another. Say, he prepared a table. Say it again like your man. Say, he prepared a table. Now tell your neighbor. Say, after the preparation. Say, after the preparation. Thou anointest my head. With oil. Then my cup begins to run over so sir if you follow the sequence of the events before the cup ran over number one he prepared a table number two he anointed the head with oil and number three the cup now started running over am i communicating so let me say this no matter the prayer sir what you eat sir before don't think that they prepare the table for fancy the psalmist said before he brought me to the place of overflow he put the table before me so that i can eat so what i have eaten will determine the overflow i will see did you hear what i just said sir i beg to say this that even jezebel is also preparing a table Please never forget that there are people who prepare tables in the Bible. It's not just God that prepares table. Even the old prophets prepared the table and called the new pro the, the, the young prophet said, come and, come and eat of this table. So sir, what table is in front of you? People of God, there is a possibility that God has prepared a table for you right in your presence. However, you are eating of a table you shouldn't eat from. Sir, there's a table of God's promise. There's a table of the economy of Nigeria. Which one are you eating from? There is a table that God speaks from. Prophetic words over your life. There is another table that is fighting what God is saying. Sir, you cannot come to overflow until you question what am I eating? Am I communicating? Ask yourself, say Jerry. Say what are you eating? I need you to say like a really minute. Say, Jerry, can you ask yourself again? Say, what are you eating? Can you thunder it again and say, Jerry, can you ask again? Say, what are you eating? And so, sir, it behoves on you to begin to ask yourself. There can never be an overflow until you begin to question, what have I been feeding my mind on? What do I believe about my career? What do I believe about my ministry? What do I believe about where God is taking me to? What do I believe about my family? What do I believe about my capacity? What do I believe about my ability? What do I, what am I feeding on? Because anything and everything I am feeding on will begin to determine whether my cup will run over or my cup will stay just enough or whether my cup will be below enough am i communicating 
Shabonde Kazia, Rende Beokoso. They still wonder why you are on NSPPD every morning. There are things I need to eat because of what is coming. They still wonder why you have zero tolerance to hear bad news. And they say to you, it's reality, and you are shaking your head and say, It's not my portion. It's not my portion. People of God, the next time they ask you, Why are you behaving like this? Tell them what I eat determines what my cup will look like. If I spoke about you, let your amen thunder louder. So please don't forget that what you eat will determine what your cup will look like. Am I communicating? And sir, understand that the psalmist will begin to let us know that he didn't just prepare a table before me. He didn't just prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. So, sir, listen, I, I need you to realize that, you know, oftentimes when we read the scripture, we like to use it to shame our enemies. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. He, will, he prepared the table before me in the presence of my enemies, you know, and, uh, and uh, even though my enemies are there, he prepared the table for me. This is very true. However, don't be more interested in where he prepared the table and forget the reason for the preparation of the table. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Because that is how you'll be looking at I'm, I'm looking at your enemy and say, oh boy, you don't see him. You don't see him. You see, they talk nonsense. See, you see my table. They don't prepare them. You will be explaining and talking and talking. Your food will get cold. Did you hear what I just said? The food was prepared in front of them. It's not for them. Did you understand what I'm saying? The idea behind it is for you to eat so that they can wash the plate. Do you understand what I am talking about? Touch your neighbor and tell your neighbor, eat, eat, eat. Say it again to your neighbor, say eat. Say it again to your neighbor, say eat. Say it again to your neighbor, say eat. And people of God, develop capacity. People of God, they are, they, this cup has, it has already been ordained that it will run over. But don't break the chain. Don't break the process. Don't circumvent what God is doing. Don't truncate. It is a process. You must eat first. Am I communicating? And people of God, the psalmist say he doesn't stop there. The next thing he wants to do is to anoint my head with oil. His target is so that my cup will run over. But however, he begins to walk on my head. Remember, the end result is that my cup will run over. But he doesn't go to my cup and start pouring it. He knows that what is in my cup is dependent on what is in my head. You just need to get this. Never expect a cup to run over when your head does not have anything. And so, sir, seasons when God wants to cause your cup to run over, he begins to walk on your mind. He begins to walk on your head. Where others see nothing, you see ideas. Things will begin to pop up. Where the, where, where seeming dry air, you come up and God will drop something new. He begins to walk on in the Korabasha. Your heart begins to overflow. Your spirit begins to catch new revelation. All around you, you begin to develop new concepts. Listen, as we pray right now, as your amen will thunder with your two hands on your head, what has never a drop in the mind of anybody at the sound of your amen let it drop in your own mind right now i wish your amen will thunder louder i say let it drop in your own mind 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 let your amen thunder louder somebody thunder with a loud voice say oil on my head Say it again. Say increase in my cup. Shout it again. Oil on my head. Thunder increase in my cup. Say oil on my head. Thunder increase in my cup. Oil on my head. Increase in my cup. If you believe it, thunder it louder. Amen. Take your seat. And people of God, seasons when God wants to walk on your cup, the first thing he goes for, let me say this church, we believe in miracles in this church, but God is not a magician. 
Did you hear what I just said? People of God, if you wake up in the morning and you see an empty cup, all of a sudden, things have been poured into the cup and the cup is full and running over. Chances are that you're going to ask some questions. Who pour them? I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. There are things God, God is not a magician. But sir, when he pours oil on your head, you're going to enter into new businesses where you know nothing about. But God will show you. Will give you the framework. Tell you what to do. You become the basa. He begins to put the right kind of words in your mouth. You will know how to communicate. And your helpers will never resist you. The oil of witty inventions. Will come upon the basa. Like the Hebrew boys. You will have knowledge in all manner of learning. And the don't envy my cup if you don't have the oil that I have did you hear what I just said so the prayer is not Lord cause my cup to run over Lord pour oil on my head because this head is full of too many things layers and layers of you cannot do it layers and layers of self-doubt layers of layers of lack of self-confidence layers and layers of ignorance but he says if I pour oil on your head your cup will run over let me tell you the disaster of my generation a people who want their cup to run over but they don't have anything in their head that's why they will resort to kidnap. That, that's why, why they will resort. Listen, let me even tell you. Let me even tell you. Anybody that will think of you for evil. Think of your family for evil. Say they are entering your estate. They are looking for what? For the abakusha there. As they are thinking about it, let them drop that. I wish your amen were thunder like a warrior. Let your amen rise higher. Let your amen rise higher. Let your amen thunder. Take your seat for one second. And people of God, don't forget, as soon as he anointed my head with oil, people of God, my cup begins to run over. I say it again. This is the reason why you need to pay attention to what happens to your head. What is this that goes on in my head? Did you hear what I just said? Whenever there's a meeting that starts in your head, that you are not the chairman, I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Please, I want you to tell that meeting, it is over. The meeting of fear, the meeting of self-doubt, the meeting of limitation. Tell yourself, no, 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 I'm, I'm not going to let this meeting continue. Sir, because this is where it begins from. You're going to watch ideas. You're going to watch boldness. People of God, everything that men have ever done, unfortunately, we look at their cops. We admire their cops. We pray for their kind of cops. We pray that, oh my God, God, let the cops shift from me. Listen, there are cops God will give you. You will not have the head to carry it. I need to remind you there are cops God will give you now. You will not have the wisdom to carry it. So God, first of all, put oil here so that I can handle this cup. And people of God, the psalmist says, my cup runneth over. I'm going to return to this, but let me say this very quickly. The next verse. The psalmist now said, this is a simple illustration of how to know anyone whose cup has run over. So this next verse is letting you know how you will know that your cup has run over. Oh yes, we, we, remember we're following a sequence. The next verse is letting you know how you will know that your cup has run over. The psalmist say, how I know is that surely goodness and mercy begins to follow me. I no longer run after things. You are not yet in the overflow. 
if you are fighting for it. You are not yet in the overflow. If you are begging for it, you will call them, call them, call them, call them. People of God, when they like to answer, they will answer. When they don't like to answer, they will not answer. But how you know that you are looking and you are praying in the overflow is that it is now goodness and mercy that is following you. People of God, clients will be calling. You didn't, you didn't hear me. Before Wednesday, seven new clients that will come with heavy jobs you never imagined. At the sound of your amen, receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Let your amen thunder. So, sir, this is a classic definition of how you know that you're operating in the overflow by what follows you, not by what you follow. Did you hear what I'm saying? By what is running after you. The psalmist said, This is what happened. Immediately, goodness and mercy began to follow me. The psalmist said, That's not where he stopped. They were not seizing now. Listen, sir. Overflow for Christians is not an event. It is a lifestyle. It is not, I used to operate on this level. Let me say this. Every time you make a space for God, oh my goodness, in one of the services I'm going to share it, he never repeats his work on the same level he did it. Let me, let me pause so that I don't go ahead of myself. Because you, you will realize that he, you know, he was going to let the people know in the old covenant that you're going to kill a lamb, sprinkle his blood upon the lintel of the houses. And he comes in the new covenant and then he makes himself the Passover lamb. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Now, he did this before. He wanted to do it. Then he did it on a higher level. And the psalmist said, how I know that my case is different is that goodness and mercy are following me all the days of my life. But this is not where it stops. How you know that you are truly walking in the overflow is your ability to remain in the house even when goodness and mercy are following you. So sir, the cycle is not complete. When you tell us that goodness and mercy are following you, after you hit that breakthrough, were you still in the house? After you eventually got married, are you still in the house? After you eventually got that thing that the Lord, the psalmist say, goodness and mercy are following me all the days of my life. But listen, don't get it twisted. I am still here. The psalmist said, listen, what are you? So the psalmist said, no matter what the breakthrough is, I am still here. No matter what the Lord opens the door for, I am still here. No matter how the Lord raises and turns my things around, I am still here. So, sir, never forget how you will know that goodness and mercy is really following you and you're operating in the overflow is how consistently you remain with God even when things are working or not working. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I'm still here. Say it again to your neighbor, say, I am still here. Can you say it again to your neighbor, say, I'm still here. If you believe it, thunder it louder, amen. amen. And this is what I'm going to say. I don't even know why I have to say this. But you see, the psalmist says, you anoint my head with oil. Every anointing becomes possible when the anointed bows to the anointer. The psalmist said, you got me to the place of overflow when I began to bow to your will. The anointed does not stand shoulder height with the anointer. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. The anointed does not square up to the anointer. The posture of the anointed is always my head bowed. The posture is keba. For those of you, Lord, I want to run over. I want, I want my cup to run over. God says, don't forget the posture 
of the anointed is a posture of how can your head be like this and your shoulder will be like this it's not possible so the true ones who are walking in true overflow they don't have space for like this because their head is like this did i make sense rise on your feet wherever you are would you lift up your two hands to god and i agree by the word of the lord let the grace to operate in high overflow at the sound of your amen let it rest upon you i announce that your cup has run over your cup has run over let your amen thunder louder would you put together your offerings your tithes and your partnership and lift it before the lord in streams of joy we stand to give to god because we are offering to the king of kings and the lord of lords put together your offerings your tithes and your partnership and raise it before god wave your offerings your tithes and your partnership to god wave it to god wave it to god and let the blessings of those who have honored god with their offerings their tithes and their partnership be your portion nothing missing and nothing broken every devil is rebuked over the life of every titan and let the resources of heaven be expressed in your life in jesus name